You won't believe it. I know. Yeah, first off, mama didn't brush her hair today. Just the head wrap on. Uh, we're getting couches today, and I'm gonna decorate. Mm-hmm, lots of fun. Couch delivery guys are here. We bought these at the 4th of July sale a few weeks ago. We've been in this house, not quite six months, but mama needs some couches. So let me show you where they're going. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Use my code LFTABLE80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. Okay, so this is the living room. We've moved out the little bit of furniture that we had in here, but hopefully love seat's gonna go there. Big chair and a half there, couch here with an ottoman, lights. We got stuff to decorate. One of the new stained glass windows. Uh, adjust the lighting. Old, old TV setup, but we've got a fresh TV stand there. Gonna set up the TV corner here. And I'm wearing shoes in my house, breaking my own rules. And then here, we're gonna put another couch because this is the room that we do school in, have meals in, lots of life going on. I don't, I don't even know. Well, before the guys got here, we were having a cookie party, weren't we? Cookies and milk, Mama said, let's do it. And then so many things have been moved in here. Things I've ordered, things I've been collecting to decorate with, key sets that we haven't even got to. So yeah, I see this. So not a super grand reveal. We've got one of the couches here. This is, I don't know, was it a six foot or seven foot couch? It's Benjamin. Benjamin's already been breaking it in, playing with his cars, and then out here, stacks, stacks of things everywhere, but that's stuff we're going to get to. Look, woo, homeschool stuff. Okay, here's the living room now with the couches, how they're currently placed. We got our love seat there. When I picked this set, I figured that couch would be centered, and that chair and a half would fit flat against this wall here. But then once we got this in here, Travis and I, I don't know, we're just, we're messing with it. We're not married to the couches, we're married to each other. <laughs> so I like things at angle sometimes, so why not? But anyway, this love seat fits here lovely. Here's the room for the moment, but remember, we're decorating in this vlog. We're getting things all set up. So here is a upside down new TV stand that's gonna go there. Then this is a stained glass piece I ordered special. I will link all the stained glass windows you are about to see in the description below. I owned, I don't know, six or seven or so. A few of them I made, then a whole lot of them I ordered on eBay over the years, but now all the windows are, are available on Amazon. So we were talking about how we wanted to see out this window. So that's why I picked, it's just a small one. Look at you, you packed them. Pick just a small one and we'll hang it up there. Obviously, haven't got to the painting yet in this vlog. And in my shopping for fresh things for the new house, this is one of the chicken pictures that I got at Hobby Lobby. You're gonna see lots of Hobby Lobby stuff. Yeah, honey, you having fun? Yeah. Yeah, so as I've said, I've been picking up stuff here and there, and now my stuff has grown into a pile. It has been in here and such, but now, oh, they have a movie on the floor. And uh, yeah, more stuff that needs unpacked. So we've been doing outside projects, but we're trying to swing to focus towards inside projects now as well. So here, actually a lot of this was in one side. It's been growing in that living room. And then when we knew the couches were coming, we were like, okay, let's get it out here, work from there. You can see in that box, that's a new light and two couch lamps. Somewhere in here are new sofa tables. A lot of these are the stained glass windows and we're just jump in to seeing stuff I got at Hobby Lobby and then finding places for it. I know I ordered a really fun chicken picture for here. So this is a quote from Zion. Zion's working on something right now. When Zion was little, like little Benjamin's age there, Zion used to say very seriously, I love you and I like you. It is, it is still I like true. It is still true. Wow. You love me and you like me, thank you. So I thought I'd do something fun, even with like a black Sharpie. I might write, like do some oh, little quotation yes. marks and then I'm gonna write Zion James Stewart, age three, or something like that. One of my uh, mama signs, may your journeys always lead you home. And then I wanna collect signs for our laundry room. So this just says Laundry Co. 
And then this, I have some other metal pieces. Um, a friend of mine was selling different things and so I got that from her. This piece may actually end up outside on a building. And then this is a pretty metal wreath looking thing and I just thought that that would go well with the colors we have going on in here. This little home sweet home thing I bought at the forest house. And this looked like a cool kind of rustic farm-ish uh, piece of wall decor. We'll put it somewhere. And then this fun thing, and you see it's kind of kind of thick there. I was thinking I might hang it up there over the chicken picture that I'm going to show you. We shall see. Then there's just some little things in here. And so we have, and these were only like two or, yeah, a couple bucks each. Little pig. Chicken. You know it. Coming to a farm near you soon. Cow. Gonna see lots of chickens. And this is another piece I thought would look fantastic somewhere. I also, I have my whole bedroom to do. I've got a hallway and the foyer. And then our multi-purpose room here and the living room. And then this gorgeous thing. I loved it. It talked to me immediately. So what I was thinking, thoughts here. This has this tan color here. We have that mirror. It used to be over the couch at our forest house. So I was thinking of putting that mirror above that couch and putting this on top of the mirror, like above it, up, arch, yay. Uh, got bookshelves for my homesteading book mess stack there. We've just pushed stuff around and all that, but uh, stick with me. It'll be fantastic by the time I'm done with this video or I won't publish it. So these look like beautiful pieces. I just was thinking fireplace, mantle, or window. We shall see. This beautiful box, it also spoke to me. I was thinking it could sit on my table by my lamp on my side of the couch. I could put things in it. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. I don't know what I wanna use it for, but it was so pretty. Beautiful little birds. They spoke to me. I have some window sills they could go in. Oh yes, come to mama, look at this. Gorge, so gorge. That's what Amelia would say. Gonna put a beautiful candle in that. And then, beautiful dove, yes. Okay, beautiful heart for a wall somewhere, maybe a heart and a dove. We shall see. Naomi saw this in the cart and she said, oh yes, yes mother, it must come home with us. Get ready, get ready for this. Is it not the most beautiful? Just, it's so gorgeous. I don't know, no functionality at all. It is just I don't know how big I think this window is, but some of these things that I got, I was thinking of my big window. But I have another, not as big window, but big window here looking at me that I have two cowbells sitting in and uh, some pictures from different birthdays in the window. And I have some room there to put some things too. Actually, and then in my room. It, they won't fit something like this though. Let, let me make sense. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, my own fault. So I know I'm slightly a little more in a little more incoherent than usual, but I'm pushing through with the excited energy that we got the couches and such. Anyway, little things like these birds could go in any window. Can I get an amen? Yes. Okay. You ready? I looked at this chicken. I talked to her. I knew I needed her. I just wasn't sure. And she was in the cart. And I said, Naomi, because I, I had other things in the cart. And then I, you know, Naomi and I went down one of those wonderful uh, picture shelf walkways there at Hobby Lobby. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna take everything out of this cart. A lot of this stuff is 50% off, but we take everything out and you just give me your thoughts on all of it. And help me weed through this. When we got to the chicken, she was like, oh yeah, she's the perfect chicken. So I'm glad I got her now. Yes, this is Jay Morrell talking about a chicken. Uh, yeah, she was $24.99, but she was half off. Thank you, Hobby Lobby. So she'll be a nice chicken for somewhere. I'll, I'll have her forever. My kids can divide her up and give her to the thrift store one day. See, so many organization projects. So I got two cases of binders for my kids and for upcoming homeschool organization. Not related at all, more related to the huge stack of homeschool stuff I have in the foyer. Yeah, but I'm gonna be getting that together we're gonna be getting all, we are getting all the things together. Yes, we are. This is off of Amazon. 
It's got a floor lamp and the two sofa uh, lights. Very hard decision, got it. I was thinking now the pillows that we got, hey Zion, they're very thick pillows. I don't know if these pillow covers will fit them exactly, but I thought these would fit over some of my old pillows. Fun little sayings like family, a little bit of crazy, a little bit of loud, a whole lot of love. Gabriel's gonna bring me a pillow and we're gonna see. It's 18 by 18, but whenever we picked out the couch sets, I did not measure pillows. And they have the plain pillows that you can get on Amazon, but I figured I would have one that would be close enough. And then I liked this because you can take them off and wash them and switch them out seasonally. The patterns on the pillows that we picked were the, for the couches that we picked are just, you know, they're just plain generic. Neutral patterns, pretty good, okay. I got really lost in chicken pillows and such. Pretty bird. This four pack, I feel like it really were $12 or something. I mean, it was a good price for fresh pillows. We got a little hedgehog and then a dragonfly. All right, a fresh one says home sweet home. We'll just see, I won't go any further with the pillow right now. We got so much wall stuff to do. Okay, so this feels heavy, yes. Okay, so this is a set of 10 white picture frames. There's five four by six, three five by seven, and two eight by tens. On Amazon, I searched gallery wall frames and they gave me ideas, but they are just simple white frames all ready together in a nice set. So that's that. Now, we have a fireplace in the living room. The mantle is beautiful. We're not going to use that fireplace for heat. We're having a new wood stove that you can also cook on in case of an emergency installed in our basement. 4,200 square foot house. We figured that the heat in the basement will rise and heat the whole upstairs. And that's how we heated our farmhouse as well. We had a good wood stove downstairs and heated the upstairs. And so this fireplace here in this multi-purpose dining room, kitchen, all the things room, and the one in the living room, we will not be using, at least right now. This wood stove that came in the house isn't even, there's some issues with it. So many fireplace things coming out. Okay, got all that. You know, eventually in a perfect world, I would love to have a gas, like just for look stove here. Don't know if I'll ever get to it, but that's what I'd like to do. Cause you asked me, right? But in the living room with that fireplace, now we'll get to that. I don't know if they have a picture of it, but maybe you can see those different candle options. This is one of those candle sets. I thought I would put it in the fireplace out there. And then I got those battery operated LED lights that look like real candles. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. I got, got an idea in my head. We'll see how it ends up looking. Batteries for those lights. I think these are. Are these the candles? Yes, flameless LED candles. Yes, so here's the various candles in my head. They're gonna sit on that candle holder in the open fireplace hole area. They have little remote controls and a timer. We'll just see how this all works out. But I thought that I can't put in a gas stove out there for looks, but I can do LED candles. Thank you, Gabriel. We'll get into boxes with uh, mirrors and paintings and other things, but this looked pretty. It's these wood hangers, and then there's these lighted with LED light mason jars that hang on each one. And I was thinking on either side of my chicken picture that's going out here, or either side of the picture that I got out there for the living room, I would hang these. So these are coming up. And they had really good reviews on Amazon as well. So then this is a stained glass butterfly. And I think we've decided Naomi wants this. You want one of this in one of your um, windows, right, Naomi? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Okay, so here it is. There's the butterfly. It's ginormous. Perfect for a teen girl's window and for mama's window and for any window. These are some bookshelves. They remind me of what I've seen online for years called rain gutter bookshelves. They're kind of floating, but you can store books on them with the picture sides facing out. I've always wanted these. So I got a set in my mind when I ordered them. There's another window, I was making a window stack. I thought we would do a set here on this wall and then we do the other set in the living room, but it may actually end up being in the foyer, so. Stay tuned, we will get it figured out. I ordered this when we first moved in. Again, problems of large family life always. Figuring out shoe storage. Oh, snap. 
Let me show you what shoe storage thing I just picked up though. Look at this. Who even am I? Isn't this thing just beautiful? Of course, we need something there for now. But a friend of mine who's doing some downsizing and organizing herself was selling this used on Facebook. And I was thinking when I looked at it, I, I should have asked the size. I thought it was bigger than it is. So for some reason I was thinking I'd use it in my animal feed room and I would store 50 pound bags of feed in it. So when I got it and brought it home, I'm like, oh, this is a lot smaller than I thought. But then, bam, there's nine cubbies, there's nine people, there's 18 feet who still live in this house. So every family member now has their own shoe cubby. We were literally a, just a mountain mountain of shoes because we need outdoor shoes we need going out shoes the kids will end up with you know a pair of sandals a pair of tennis shoes maybe a quick pair of flip-flops it adds up yes and amelia's got her rain boots in there so okay yay just be happy with me used organization it's just part of my slowly get it together campaign so this big thing i think is one of my mirrors this is it. It took a long time. I took a day off the other week and I laid down and analyzed these. So I got two of them. I was thinking that they would go in the living room side by side above the fireplace. Let's go see. Okay. Yes. I've got to st stay. Do well. <laughs> got to stand back and analyze it. So I did measure. <laughs> And of course we got some box up there, but it's gonna be two of those side by side. And then I thought it would reflect the window and be beautiful. So please play along, beautiful mirror. Also, Hobby Lobby, thank you. Let's go sit this out here and see how it looks. Okay, so when I bought this, what I was thinking was that it would be like here somewhere, somewhere in this general area. I don't know why it does this to me. Some things that I've received, it says on its way, but it's running late. Other things say on its way, but it's running late and I received them. So anyway, I did order two of those mirrors. One was delivered on Ju July 9th, one is expected on July 9th. So I will have to, have to circle back to that. If I never see it and if I have to get my money back, even one mirror above there will look nice. And maybe I would hang my little mason jars with the pretty flowers and little twinkly lights on either side of that. Okay, so I think this is my silly chicken picture for here, but let's have a look. Okay, this is the over the couch picture. The big unveiling. So we have some cherry blossoms and of course, a mason jar. I thought that would look good over the big couch. Very rarely when I have time to decorate and think and do fun things. Um, of course, I do lots of fun things, but you know, like fun decorating things. I do lots of standing and lots of looking. Now we will take a look. You're seeing it before, cause I'm, I'm stepping over the cars. Okay, so there's the picture. And I was thinking of having it centered there. And that's why I got the big one. Cause I knew that was a big wall space. Um, I was thinking about doing the family pictures, maybe on these two walls and the white. So yes, have to get hanging up things, but this is what I do. I set things around. I look at them and I talk to them. And for this, I'm wondering if this is another window. Like I said, I probably bought like five or six. I have not bought any windows since 2009. So mama deserves a few more stained glass windows in my life. So I'm just gonna at least open up the top of this and see what we got going on. Oh, okay, I think this is my new fireplace screen. I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is the fireplace screen, faux fireplace screen, because I'm gonna have LED candles in the fireplace. That's my uh, makeshift gas stove insert for this time. This is folded up now, but we will get our faux fireplace screen out there. Well, actually it's a real one, but Faux meaning it's for some of my fake fun, right? So I think this is my new bookshelves that I got for family picture albums. Modern ladder bookcase with solid rubber wood frame. I thought if we centered the big couch on the wall, I'd be putting this beside it 
and then I measured, I had enough room for my floating like library bookshelves, whatever we're gonna call them. I'm gonna yawn again. Okay, everybody else yawn, sorry. But I'm thinking now, cause again, Travis has to have a say and be involved and he likes his chair turned like that and I'm thinking I don't necessarily mind it but I'm gonna mention it 10 more times. These might go in our foyer now, which would also be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna at least set this box there. Upside down chicken sisters. And they have stuff to say, <laughs> don't they? So I purposely did not order these chicken sisters in as big of a print as the one for the couch. This is called Chicken for Dinner, Lucita Heffernan. Isn't that fun? Something like that. And then, let's see if my vision was right. What has that look, Naomi? Oh, looks good. Does it look good? Might, might not be good. This might be better over a door. I just think this will be hilarious to look at all the time. Okay, doing it in Sharpie. There's no going back. There. I love you and I like you. Zion James Stewart, age three, the boy kid. Because he used to want to be called the boy kid. <laughs> okay, so in progress here, I'm trying to get our LED candles for in the fireplace going. I ordered these um, AA batteries in bulk on Amazon. And so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I have to read the little manual, but I just wanted to set the candles up on a timer to come on every evening. Um, for an hour or two. Just trying to have a little fun. Okay, so then with the clicker here, I can hit the candle button and they should all kind of flicker and glow like they are candles. And then I can turn them off, turn them on. I'm happy with my remote control candles. <laughs> so we have these items waiting to be processed in front of the fireplace. I'm just gonna move these out of the way. May not have shown it yet, these little and tables have been made. Let's work on this fireplace. Here's the other set of uh, rain gutter gallery wall type bookshelves. I bought them with the intent to center them here. But then Zion had some real good thoughts in that. Uh, gee, mom, we open this bathroom door all the time and then this basement door all the time. Let's see if I can get it open right now. We measured though, I mean it wouldn't, it wouldn't hit them, but this is a high traffic area. I just love people thinking complete thoughts. It's helpful. <laughs> so I don't know if these are gonna go here now, but we're working on getting other things up today and I'll show you the other ones we got up. Okay, and then here, are the ones that we got up the other day and obviously we need to get books on them. I cannot wait to show you all the things that we got hung up yesterday and the stained glass windows are finally getting hung up. Hopefully my kitchen window birds that so many of you have asked me about will be in this kitchen window before this video ends. Quite a lot left to do in the uh, decorating, decorating stage of the forever house. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping, so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes, or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Feeding the whole family has never been easier with larger box sizes for more servings and more savings. No grocery stores, no stressful meal planning, just everything you need to prepare. Wholesome, delicious meals all delivered to your door. My kids always love to see all the fun recipes that come delivered in our HelloFresh boxes. We love trying new things and learning new skills with HelloFresh. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Use my code LFTABLE80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. And then just showing how easy the HelloFresh meals are to adapt, we have this container of lettuce about half full still so I'm just adding lettuce to our juicy Lucy burgers 
We finally got this sign hung. So then here in our foyer, you see much, much room for improvement still. This is just our catch wall all with all our projects. Laundry baskets waiting to be folded and these are some more stained glass windows that are still packaged. I've tried two different benches here, have not found the right one yet. And then Travis and I were saying the other night, well, maybe we're just gonna do like big floor to ceiling bookshelves here. Not always what you would find in a foyer, but uh, you know, we need bookshelves. We've <laughs> got a lot of books <laughs> so anyway here's a lovely metal wreath you can see I just have gone all in with the gray and the tan and the white and then here I had gotten these shelves to put on the side of our couch in the living room which I'm gonna show you here in a minute and uh, anyway just didn't end up working out with the way that we positioned our chair and a half. What I was gonna do with them was have these be for like picture books and you gotta love my, my chicken sister there. So anyway, I think I'm still gonna use them for picture books, but they will again be in the foyer here. Uh, all the picture books are packed up and then I don't know if this looks like it pr could probably come over just a little more. Maybe I'll do a second one here beside it or maybe I'm just gonna do a chair or maybe I'll just do nothing. I also like having space with nothing, that's nice. And then that's my sign from Hobby. May your journey always lead you home. And then out here, here is how the living room is turning out so far. Just where do I start, where do I start? So here is the love seat pillow cover from Amazon. Here's where we decided to put the second set of these gallery type bookshelves. And I'm gonna do these with all books, all, all books for the kids. One of my viewers sent the kids a bunch of that style books. So only kid book I could find at the moment because they're dispersed in bedrooms, but these will be all kid books. Again, love seat. Here's how the mantle and fireplace area have turned out. Loving those LED candles. We'll see how long the batteries last in those. I just turned them on a little bit here and there and turned them on today for you guys. Then I had candles going today. Again, with that mirror, I ordered two of them. I thought we'd have them, you know, up there almost as if they were one piece. The second one has yet to arrive. It was $89, which, you know, for big mirrors on Amazon, it seems like a deal. Not sure what I'll do with it if it ever does come. I mean, I certainly have hallways and other areas that could use mirrors and Actually, now that I say that, I might put that in the foyer over my little entryway table. And little couch tables we got. The other one is back there. There's the chair and the half for Mr. Travis. This painting I also got on Amazon. These little mason jar decorations on the side, they also have LED lights in them. I haven't even gotten back there to mess with them yet, but I'm supposed to be able to turn them on and they'll be twinkly as well. I had ordered that lamp, the tall lamp that went with it, I actually put out by the other couch, which I'll show you. There's a second lamp that goes with the set I need to put over there. And so then, there's my throne. You know how everyone picks, there's jokes about, you know, in marriage you pick the side of your bed and where you sit and all that. So I sit there, Travis sits there, kids all around. This rug is an outdoor rug I had got at Walmart many months ago. It was the only thing in this room a lot of the time. So I like how it's kind of wild and funky uh, in the middle of all the tan and the gray. And so here is the other set of shelves, all my hopes and dreams. A few of these books I have read, Many of them I have not. All of them I have scanned or skimmed different parts of. More of my farming and homesteading books are back in my bedroom. Here's an example of The Homesteader's Herbal Companion by Miss Amy Fuel. She has another good book on chickens. This book on root cellaring, haven't opened that one yet. I've looked at the wild bread one some. I also have taken some time and read part of the fermentation book read a good part of the B book. The Trapper's Bible we just got. The boys have loved that. The Home Butcher, I am doing butchering. So I thought, hey, I bet there's books on this as well. That homesteading book we have used a lot. Um, again, lots of good ones. These came the other day, herbal antivirals and then herbal antibiotics. I could just do a whole video on my books. Oh, and I'll show you, this family sent these to me. This is another modern herbal book I got. Um, they sent me the Doable Off-Grid Homestead, and then they also have a cookbook that is here somewhere that they sent me. Oh, here it is. Traditional Meals for the Frugal Family. The Home Creamery is a new one I got. I also 
got a solar oven and that's the cookbook for it so let me know if you'd like to see some videos on that I'm gonna learn how to use it thought it would be a fun thing to do and learn but anyway these are my mama education bookshelves this is the new TV stand again just about everything is Amazon of course the kids love playing with the doors there's our old funky TV stand so we've been watching through the um I love the John Adams series I try to watch this every year I just love history in all its forms so anyway been watching through that um collecting our DVDs again love Temple Grandin watched that again the other day so let me just tell you about movies too so this TV stand and TV will probably be going down to the basement and then this TV stand will go there and we're looking at some different TVs for there here's the big window then raining outside there's the big toy <laughs> toy explosion so here's the first of many stained glass windows that have been hung I mean I could do three windows in this big window but we also like to be able to see out of it not that you can tell right now with the rain reglazing the window is another project coming up but anyway this is one we just got hung today and I thought it was beautiful because I love stained glass windows but not too intrusive because I like seeing out like seeing when the UPS man comes and things are happening so we just brought up these are several of my windows from the other house here's a lovely window we just put up here I didn't want it to take up the whole window because I look outside uh, to see animals and kids and such those are judgmental chicken sisters and then this is the sign I think I showed you it says I love you and I like you and then I added the little zion age and wording okay so back to windows everything survived the move pretty much except this butterfly window this did have some damage here um but anyway i might even hang this in our laundry room but hang this side behind the dryer not sure i'll still use it and then for family uh, history this is the first large stained glass window and the only large larger stained glass window that I ever made and you can see my my poor little soldering attempt uh, but I did it so we'll have that and the kids can fight over it when I die haha -ha. and then there's the birds <laughs> another day another mess working on some unpacking today gonna work on whatever this mess is going on here behind me we also got a pile of maybe five more stained glass windows we have to put up today and then there's been another load of boxes in my room that has grown i'm going to work on that too today is the day working so hard to be officially moved in finally we're doing it we're almost at the six month mark getting there gonna love it once we're done so here you can see it's just a hodgepodge of various things there are homes for all these things also school stuff we need to pack away put away uh yeah we just got some got some things that need to happen here it actually took me a couple hours yesterday but here it is all cleaned out all fresh we actually have this space back again so in the laundry room now got one of the little laundry room signs up and then the home sweet home sign better than nothing and again here is our wonderful shoe organization still holding it together so here are some metal farm animals on the wall yesterday we got the it is well sign hung here and then i moved stained glass windows i had this one there but i wanted it here and i wanted to put a bigger window in this window uh, you see we finally got the a messy kitchen is a sign of happiness hung that little arch there's the judgy chicken sisters and the I love you and I like you sign. Then we hung that pretty chicken girl here. This is the um, much discussed walkway because we have a busy bathroom door here and the basement door and we move things throughout. Then here is how new couch and then this setup worked out the arch ended up overlapping the mirror a little bit and I said that is just fine I think it's gorgeous and then we did the little mirrors there heart and a dove got the Berkey water filter in the mail that's a whole other story I wanted to get the biggest one they're very hard to find right now 
I see you peeking, but they came back in stock and I at least got one and I'm thrilled with that. So we've been using that. And then here is how that large picture turned out. Those are the little jars with flowers that light up with LED in the jars. I still haven't turned those on yet. Uh, there's the bookshelf. And then here's how the front window turned out with a small stained glass piece so we could still see out. And then that bowl that I'm madly in love with from Hobby Lobby. And again, the TV stand that will get moved over here shortly, do a little something different. And then these bookshelves here, I'm gonna fill with books for the kids. Another stained glass window that I ordered. I put this in one of the bathrooms. Finally got that picture hung. And in the boys' room, we got some superhero pictures hung that I've collected for them. Also hung one of the windows up in here. Some Thor behind the door. Okay, and a butterfly and a new mirror up in the girls' room. And then their farming picture that we got for their room before we even knew we were doing a farm. And then in my room, we got some things hung, got more windows, another picture, another window, another window that has found a home. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Use my code LFTABLE80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details.